Hey guys, what's up, okay, Blocks and Chess? Today, we are going to be doing a rank on every single Vade map. We're not including any of the removed maps because they're gone and they're not an anymore in the game. Maybe some of them could return to the events that are upcoming, like Christmas and Halloween. But right now, we're just doing the regular maps that are in the game from easy, hard, normal, and expert. Anyways, let's move on to our first map. Our first map here, guys, is Facade. So I gotta say, I really like the colors here. It's really colorful. Good map design. Has some good and pretty decent running space. Overall, Facade is pretty fun and a good map. Okay, guys, so overall ranking here on Facade. Facade does play very good, and I think it's a good running space. So I'll give Facade a B. So guys, for a second map, it is Arid Ruins. So this is a classic map in the game for a very long time. I think it has some okay running space. It could have a little more, but overall, I think it's just not a bad map. Alright, so Arid Ruins here. I think this map deserves a farewell C tier. Not a bad map. It's such a classic though, which is why I'm ranking it a little higher. Alright, the third map is Icebreaker. I gotta say, I really do like the design. And as, the thing that might prevent me from putting this higher is that if you go into the middle of the lake, it, it kind of, you lose damage, which forces you to go around, but I still really do like the design, I mean, look at the ship, so cool. Alright, so we're going to be ranking Icebreaker now, so as you guys knew as of what I said, personally, does not it forces you to go around the lake, and if you go inside of it, you will lose damage, and you take damage, and, and next spots can easily go in there. So this map gets a D tier. All right, the ranking. Now we're gonna be going through Mall. So Silver Mall is an absolute classic, very good. The straightaways just make it better just because you can just run away from next spots easily. Overall, I also do like the design and I think it's a really great map. Now guys, the ranking of Silver Mall. So overall, not a bad map. I, so I'm putting B, actually no, it's, uh, let's, I think I'm gonna put this one in A. I think I just deserve it. It's a really good map. Now for Winter City. As you can see, some nice looking place. I mean, it's all winter. I like winter. And some good space to go. Oh, so there's also a lever here we gotta do. So we found the lever. And overall, really awesome map. I love it. So now we're gonna be ranking Winter City. I really, really like the design. Just wanna say that. This map gets S2. So Jab, I like this map. I think this gets a good rating. And I like the space and all kinds of cool jumps you can do in this map really good all right so ranking of drab i think it has some cool space i think it does a good job on representing and overall i do like it a good map i think it does deserve a b tier so let's put it up here and b yep so this map deserves a b tier so now guys for terra hotel personally not a huge fan of this map the red colors actually make it look like hotel it's not that bad i like the design but just not my favorite map now we're ranking terra hotel so personally not a big fan of this map i don't think it has the absolute best you can run into a lot of things very easily so sadly terror hotel is our first f2 so now here we are for maze so personally myself i think maze is a great map because these corners are super sharp and when you take them you can easily deke a next spot which gives you some good chance to get away from it overall great so ranking of maze i think it's a good map uh, really good i give this map an a tier now we have trim so this map is basically just going off boost panels onto a ramp and as you can see oh no i missed it the jump oh man so you guys this map i'm gonna tell you right now this is probably my least favorite map in the game it's uh, really annoying when you fall so that is trim okay guys so this is trim no i'm not gonna play that again that is so annoying you keep just keep falling no no Alrighty guys, so here we are in Ikea. So one thing I gotta say, I'm surprised this map is not copyright. But I gotta say one thing, I think it's a really great map. Remember this map was getting teased. I really like it though. Great design. I think they had a good choice on this one. So now for the Ikea map. Ikea does play very good and there's good running space. So Ikea definitely gets the S tier ranking. Now we are guys here on Construct. So my only problem with this map, I think it's good running space, but... My only problem is that sometimes I say to myself, maybe this map is a little easy, which prevents me from putting it higher. So that is Construct. So now we're going to be ranking Construct. So Construct, overall, pretty good map. I'll give this one a C tier though, because I want a little bit more of a challenge. Now we're on Elysium Moonbase. So gotta say, absolutely love the design of this map. 
and it does give you some good place to run around so this map's really great so now let's rank elysium moon base so elysium moon base good space for running but a bonus for the design so here we are on desert bus so this is a classic map but sadly they're going to be removing desert bus because they the hexagon de development group don't actually like the map so that's kind of sad but overall i actually like the best running space out of every single map okay guys so now for the rating of desert bus desert bus always been a really favorite of mine so desert bus is getting an s tier okay guys so we are on elysium tower another map like elysium moon base but i think this one's just okay i don't think it's as good as moon base but it's still a pretty decent map so here are for elysium tower so elysium tower is okay not the absolute best map but i think the moon base is a little better overall though still a pretty decent map so elysium tower i think deserves a c tier so here we are guys on scorching outpost so personally amazing amazing design for this map but i just find it a little easy because they have a hard time going to the top layer right, so ranking scorching outpost i think it deserves a d tier because it is a little bit easy all right guys so neighborhood i think it's just an okay map there's not the most I mean, there's decent space, but it's just a little boring, this map. For Neighborhood, Neighborhood was not bad, so Neighborhood will get a C tier. Alright guys, now we're on Train Terminal. So this is an expert map. It's really hard because trains come from a bunch of angles. Like that, you just saw that train. And if you, you can actually get killed by the train. This map's hard, and I love it. This Train Terminal, it gives you a challenge because you got to escape from the next spots and try not to get hit by a train. So Train Terminal gets a B tier because that one's actually really fun. So now here we are on cliffshire so i like the little representation of a village and it is a nice looking map so cliffshire was not a bad map it had a pretty decent design and i think it was pretty cool so cliffshire gets a b tier all right guys next map is mayday so this map i really like the like wetlands kind of outlook to it and i think personally it's a good map so mayday here is mayday so the map's not bad i think i really like the design but overall it's not a bad map so this gets a c tier so here we are now guys okay so now we're in laboratory so i think this map is decent it's uh, quite a bit of a classic but next spots can easily cut you off and inside there's not a lot of good amount of room all right so now laboratory i think it's not a very good map i, I like the design but personally just not the best for running so now here we guys on mansion so personally i think this is a good map this is good straightaways which gives you good good little place to run around so overall ranking for mansion mansion's a pretty good map and it gives you some really good room to run around by just going in a straight hallway which that's awesome so that's an a tier for mansion all right guys so here we are on insane asylum so personally i'm not a fan of this map and every most games i'm actually not a fan of in the asylum maps but this one's just not my favorite. So for Insane Asylum, not a lot of room. And I think that kind of ruins it. So Insane Asylum gets a D tier. So next is Underground Facility. So this map's also a classic. I think it's a pretty fun map. So this is, is probably going to go higher. Underground Facility is actually, surprisingly, a pretty good map. So as of Underground Facility, Underground Facility gets the B tier. Alright guys, so this is Trap Rooms. Trap rooms, I think, is very fun. It's challenging. So what happens is a bunch of doors come down. And there's also some lava, too, that can happen. And as you can see, next spot spawns. So very awesome. So four trap rooms. Trap rooms gives you a big challenge, and I love this map. Now, I'm going to say this. Trap rooms is S tier. Not, not a lot of people may agree with me, but I like it. S tier. Okay, guys. So now we are in safe research. W once again, classic map. This is on almost on one of the main logos of the game and i don't think it's that bad of a map for serif research here serif research is an okay map not my absolute favorite but i think it goes okay here we are at indoor courtyard this is personally my favorite map in the game i just really really like the remake because they just remade the gym liminal space in gary's mod just overall amazing remake so indoor courtyard once again saying this once again one more time it's my favorite map in in the whole entire game i really like indoor courtyard hi right, guys so here we are on four corners so this is a very good map and why it's a classic also i like that toilet right there um you can just go around in a big square and that's why it's great it, it just gives you so much place to run around so now overall ranking four corners you gotta give this one an s tier it's just super great really good
Guys, so here we are on jungle. So this is another hard map. This map's not that bad. I, this is also a pretty, pretty big classic map. Yeah, I think it's a good design, and it seems like it has a decent amount of space to run around. Ranking for jungle, just give me a second to find jungle, okay, there it is. So jungle's not that bad of a map, I think it's okay. I think it's good, but it's okay at the same time, so I'll give that one a C. Okay guys, so now here we are, our nuclear processing. So this map is just okay, not my absolute favorite map, but I think it's just okay. So now, nuclear processing does not seem to have the best amount of space. But I think it seems like an okay map. Hey guys, now we're on Crossroads. This is a Roblox classic the remade in Evade. This is also in Ecos, but both and both games are really awesome. So this is obviously going to be a really well ranked map. All right, guys, now we got Crossroads. Crossroads is overall not a bad map. I'll give this a B tier. Find Pals. Not my absolute favorite map. There's basically no good really space to run around. So this one's going to be pretty low rank. As we just saw, the Alpine Palace, not very great map in my opinion. So this this one gets an F tier. All right, now we're in Tudor Manor. So I really like the design of this map. Very underrated. Underrated. I wish uh people vote for this map a little more but overall the colors fit halloween very well and it was it was part of my favorite update halloween okay okay guys so as you saw tutor man was pretty good i like the running space i think it gives you a good enough amount of room so i'll give this one an a tier so now guys we are on pool rooms once again i don't like any rooms like back rooms levels except indoor courtyard which that was pretty good i'm just not a fan of pool rooms and back rooms so pool rooms is probably going to be pretty low on here. All right. So now ranking of pool rooms. Like I said before, I'm probably not going to like pool rooms. So this one is getting an F. Now here we are in library. Once again, another classic map. There's not a lot of space as it looks like, which is not very good because they can run on a lot of things too because there's all shelves everywhere. So here we are ranking library. Mm, not very good. I'll, I'm not giving this an F, but I'll give this a D tier. Here we are on Kyoto. So, I'm not the biggest fan of this map. There's not a lot of space, and it's easy to go into a corner and to get killed. So, there could be a little more room, but I think this map's just not my type. Alright, guys. So, now, um, overall ranking, uh, Kyoto does not have the absolute best running space. This gets a D tier. Now, we are on work facility. So personally, not my favorite map. Not a lot of space here either. Cause you can run into these walls really easy and just get caught and then, then you're basically dead. And if you run into something, you, you just slow down like a lot and then they'll kill you. So not a very good map. So warp facility or work facility, not a very good map. Not the absolute best running space either. I'll give this one a D tier though, not an F tier. All right, so now we're in Brutal's Void. So this is another map. It has like all actually like no like anything like like you know like regular maps do it just a void basically and I really like it it actually has some good running space as you can see good straightaways this is a good map this is what a representation of good running space all right guys for brutalist void is a good map I'll give this a B tier all right guys so now we're in station so this is quite an older map. I don't actually remember when this one released and this actually came out and released. I don't know, guys, though. Give a comment down below when this map came out. Overall, though, not the absolute best design map, but I think it looks pretty nice. All right, guys, so overall rating of Station. It's an okay map. It gives you some okay room. So I'll give this one a C tier. All right, so we are in Warp the State Classic Halloween map. I think it's a good map, personally. And it has a really, really good design. It's almost like the map Dreams in the Roblox game Frog. Make sure to go check out Frog and Evade. But this map overall just has a really, really awesome design. Hey, Warp the State is a good map. I think it has a good design. It gets an A tier. So now we're in Catacombs. So this map, I really like design. So you got like eyes everywhere. And overall, map design's really great. And overall, Catacombs, pretty good map. All right, overall ranking of Catacombs, not a bad map. I'll give it a C tier. All right, guys. So here we are in alleyways. So it just—it's it, not a lot of fair amount of space to really run around. There's a lot of like really tight corners. Plus, you see, it's kind of hard because there's a bunch of things you can get caught on. And ranking of alleyways, I also do not like the map, uh, like back rooms, just because it either does not give you too much running space. So F tier. 
guys, so back rooms. Gotta say one thing, it's a maze. Once again, like pool rooms. I don't like mazes, which just prevents this map from being higher. I just don't like this map. All right, guys, overall ranking for back rooms. Don't like the map, just gets a F tier. Guys, that was our ranking for all the 42 current maps in the game, not the ones that were taken out. Anyways, guys, comment what your favorites are, and make sure to like and subscribe. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video.